Hello everyone, welcome to Trey Seeky's NASCAR Sports and Sororities Podcast. I am Trey Seeky. Welcome to, welcome to the NU, this week's NU Sports for the, the week of November 28th of 2017. Let's kick off this week's NU Sports news by with a recap of yesterday's NU Women's Basketball Game. In front of a crowd of 793 at Tuba City High School, the NAU women's ba- basketball team dazzled Monday night. Six players scored in double-digit figures in a show-stopping 104-49 victory over Antelope Valley as the Lumberjacks improved to 2-3 with their second consecutive win. Head coach Lori Payne said, in quotes, It was an awesome atmosphere here tonight and to have the team win like this. It's a very important piece towards the putting this puzzle together. Antelope Valley is a very good team who has played some big teams close and even some conference opponents, and we did not underestimate them at all. That shows maturity by our young team and that mentality was important. All 11 active players who got in the game scored, led by redshirt senior Kenna McDavis and junior Kaylee Paplo with 16 each, Redshirt senior Olivia Luciero scored 14. Freshman Kara Rashi with 13. Junior Tate Synergy with 10. Freshman Lauren Orndoff with 10. Rounded all NEU double digit scores. For Rashi, Synergy, and Orndoff, Monday marked their first career double digit scoring games. The night was a special one for both Synergy and senior Chelsea Batoni as the pair excelled in the game on the Navajo Nation. In addition to her 10 points, San Genie recorded two rebounds, three assists, and the team's lone steal in her return to her old high school gym. Batonia drained the Lumberjacks' final points of the game on a three-pointer from straightaway and also tallied three assists. The Jacks handled the Pioneers on the glass, doubling up Antelope Valley 70-35 in the rebound column. The 70 rebounds were the third highest single game total in school history and the most since 1982. NEU had four players record 10 or more boards with McDavis and Rashid scoring a game high 13 each in double double efforts. Paplo grabbed 11 boards to notch a double double herself. While redshirt freshman Brianna Lehu pulled down a career best 10 rebounds. Antelope Valley's only lead of the game was, a, was short-lived at 2-0 as Lucy, Lucero knocked down a triple on the following possession to start a 12-1 NAU run. By the time Pine, the Pioneers connected on a field goal again, the Lumberjack was, lead was already up to 25-9 with 7.5 min, minutes remaining in the second quarter. And he used 104 points on the second most in school history. Trailing only the 109 points the Lumberjacks scored against the, this very same Antelope Valley team last year. The Lumberjacks shot 50% from the field overall, including 57.1% in the second half, while the Pioneers only converted on 22.1% of their attempts. Antelope Valley did force NU into 15 turnovers, but only five came after halftime. And he used 46 points in the paint, 24 second chance points, and 42 bench points were all season bests. The Lumberjacks looked to even their season record when they traveled to Denver, Colorado, which is my mom's hometown, for a Sunday afternoon tilt at 1 p.m. before returning home to Flagstaff, Arizona for a start of a three-game homestand. Now let's recap the last weekend's NU football season finale. The Northern Arizona football team suffered a 41-10 defeat against the University of San Diego on a Saturday evening in the opening round of the 2017 NCAA FCS playoffs at the at the walk-up Skydome in Flagstaff. The loss ends their lumberjack season as they finish with a 7-5 record overall. San Diego advances to the second round of the NCAA FCS playoffs and will face number two seed North Dakota State on Saturday, December 2nd. NEU senior linebacker Byron Evans 
registered 17 tackles for the Lumberjacks defense, tied for the second highest single game total for the program since 2010. Jack sophomore quarterback Case Cook has completed 22 of 41 pass attempts for, for 178 yards, along with a one touchdown and an interception. The Lumberjacks played without the services of four starters due to injuries in Saturday's FCS playoff game, including All Big Sky first team wide receiver Elijah Marks, running back, running back Joe Logan, strong safety West Sutton, and nickelback Josh Clark. San Diego dominated the line of scrimmage on both sides of the ball throughout the contest as it outgained Northern Arizona 439 to 238 for the whole game. The Toreros posted a total of 211 rushing yards while limiting NEU to only 60, including just 11 in the first half. The 238 yards of total offense marked, marked the lowest total for the Lumberjacks since a 232-yard performance against Montana State on October 5th of 2013. Now let's recap the NEU men's ba basketball game out in Las Vegas. The Northern Arizona men's basketball team suffered a 77-71 loss to UC Irvine in its final game at the Continental Tire Las Vegas Invitational on Friday afternoon at the Orleans Arena in Las Vegas. The Lumberjacks were defeated despite leading by as many as 13 points at, as an Antoniter and Teeters outscored NEU 46-34 over the final 20 minutes of regulation and held the Jacks without a field goal for an 11-26 stretch in the second half. The loss marks the Lumberjacks' sixth straight to start the season as they fall to 0-6 overall. UC Irvine moves to 3-4 following the victory. Sophomore Chris Bowling led the attack for the Lumberjacks with a career-high 26 points while shooting a solid 10 of 15 overall, including a 4 of 8 clip from the 3-point range. Fellow sophomore JoJo Anderson netted 19 points in the win, his fourth consecutive game in double digits and shot a 5 of 10 overall, 7 of 8 from the free throw line and 2 of 4 from beyond the arc. The Lumberjacks also enjoyed their best performance from the charity stripe to date this year as they connected on 19 of 23 attempts. NEU pulled down 13 offensive rebounds and converted them into 17 second chance points. Isaiah Thomas led the Jacks on the board with the game high 9 rebounds. NEU head coach Jack Murphy said, in quotes, It was a quick turnaround. We didn't have a lot of time to prepare for them, and they didn't have a lot of time to prepare for us. That was a really good game we played today, and I thought we really took the fight to them in the first half, which is what we wanted to do, unquote. So outside the NEU women's basketball game coming up in Denver, the NEU women's swimming and diving team will be at the Lone Star State for the Texas Invitational for three days this week. It's starting tomorrow. And... And men's basketball will be at Santa Clara in two days on Thursday. So that will do it this week for this week's NEU Sports. I'm Trey Seeky for Trey Seeky's NASCAR Sports and Sorties podcast saying adios, hasta luego, sayonara, ciao, au revoir, livrerci, loa, gone, blidizine, juice, salam, roarine, he gone.